Imagine how much better of a base stiller you could be if you knew every single pitch what pitch was coming. I'm about to give you guys a tip that I learned in college that's gonna help you guys become a better base stealer. So first off, whenever we get over here at first base, our job as a base runner is to get to second because then we're in scoring position. For you to steal second base, you're gonna have to pick good pitches to go on and you're gonna have to get good jumps off the pitcher. First things first, when you get over here, make sure we're picking up our sign from the third, ba uh, third base coach and we're on the base doing that. Too often in youth baseball, high school baseball, it's becoming a common trend. I see guys where they get to first base and they're over here talking to their first base coach. You know, taking their gloves off, putting on their sliding mitt, trying to look drippy, not even paying attention to that guy. Or we have the batter up in the box that's just getting in and not even taking a peek down the line to see what, what sign the coach is giving them. So make sure we're picking up signs so we can put a play in motion. As the base runner, what I'm gonna do to give myself a little bit of an advantage pitch to pit is as the pitcher's getting his sign from the catcher. So he's down in his stretch, catcher's in the crouch giving a sign. All I'm gonna do, once I get my sign from the third base coach, I'm gonna take a small step off. So I'm close enough that if I see the pitcher react to throw over, the, all I gotta do is take a step and I'm back to the base. And I can do that without even looking, I'm here. So I'm going to take just a small step off. I'm going to get down like in my crouch. I'm watching the pitcher, waiting for him to get a sign. So I'm looking at him. My head is facing him. And all I'm going to do is shift my eyes to the catcher. So at this point, I can see the pitcher out of my peripheral vision. My head is still facing the pitcher. So it looks as if I'm looking at him, but my eyes are watching the catcher. So now I can see what signs he's given. And most of the time, guy on first base, you know, nobody at second base, catcher's just dropping one sign. So it should be very simple to pick up. Okay, so I see a two or a three, he's going off speed pitch. At this point, pitcher's down here, starting to come to his set position. So I'm down, pitcher's coming set. Now I take the rest of my lead. Now I'm down, and at this point, it's just a matter of getting a good jump off the pitcher and taking a good first step to get to second base. Next time you guys get to first base, try implementing this, and I promise it's gonna help you become a better base runner because you're going to know pitch to pitch what is coming. Balls in the dirt, you'll be able to anticipate them whenever you know an off-speed pitch is coming. So